What is good YouTube and in this video I'm going to show you how to set effective ghost screens in NBA 2K23. In my opinion, one of the more underrated actions that not a lot of people use in NBA 2K23, but because of how people play defense online, it's actually an effective way to get easy buckets, easy threes, or easy drives to the basket depending on the coverage. And this was something that Golden State Warriors frequently used and used to great effectiveness against the Memphis Grizzlies in Christmas. So Dante DiVincenzo sets a ghost screen here or a fake screen then a flare cut towards the weak side. So instead of setting a screen here, Dante will instead fake that screen and then cut right there, giving him a wide open three. Now Ja Morant and John Concha were caught in a miscommunication on defense that allowed for that to happen. Now here, Poole executes an effective ghost screen that erases the help defense from John Conchar as he refuses to lead Jordan Poole, allowing Ty Jerome to attack the basket. Now Clark and Williams stay attached to Moody and Clay, while Ja chooses to stunt and recover because of Jonathan Kupminga's lob threat. This gives Ty Jerome an open lane to the basket and an easy two points. Now in NBA 2K23, this is how I run it. Just take a look at how I use a ghost screen here. Booker flares out. Kobe's forced to recover, giving me a wide open jumper from the mid range. So let's break that down much lower this time. So in my team, Devin Booker is my best shooter. As you can see here, it's a clutch situation. So my setup here is I use a ball hander Dwayne Wade to go to the opposite side of the person setting the ghost screen, which in this case, Devin Booker is heading to the right. So Dwayne Wade heads to the left. Tap L1 to bring up the icon play calling menu and to ask for the screen from a specific person, in this case Devin Booker, I hold the icon above his head, holding circle. Then you tap R1 to ask for a fade instead of a roll. The fade option will result in the screener flaring out towards the perimeter instead of rolling to the basket. Now, to turn that fade into a ghost screen, tap L1 which will then command the screener to instead slip the screen instead of fading. So you will see Devin Booker flaring out right there instead of setting a pick, just as Jordan Poole and Dante DiVincenzo did. So here you see Kobe is trailing Booker and since Dwayne Wade is an effective slasher, Kobe has to respect the drive threat from Wade. Magic Johnson refuses to, to switch on defense so Devin Booker right there has an open lane towards the weak side. And as you can see right here, we already have an open 3 opportunity from Dwayne Wade. Kobe gets confused right here and my defender, the user defender is off balling with Giannis, not putting him in a good position to help. So I pass the ball to Devin Booker. Defense over overreacts. As you can see there, the user was late closing out, giving me an open jump shot and an easy two points. So there you have it, very easy. Here's the controller demonstration of the ghost screen and I will link the detailed video in the description below. As you can see right there, that's the first best option. If you can get the pass quick enough to the trailing to, to the person setting the ghost screen, then you have an easy three. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. I'll be uploading my team gameplay tomorrow and I have a few dribble tutorials that I plan on pushing out over the next few days as well. Once again, guys, uh, thank you for all the support that you provided me over the past year. This was been a great year for me in terms of, you know, my growth as a, a, a YouTube channel. And I greatly appreciate all of your contributions and your support for helping me get this far. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.